Imagine a book so strange, so utterly baffling, that for over 600 years no one has been able to read a single word. A book filled with plants that don't exist, with celestial beings bathing in pools of cosmic ether, with stars, wheels, and strange symbols that follow the rules of language, but belong to no tongue ever spoken. This isn't the plot of a fantasy novel. This is real. This is the story of the Voynich Manuscript, the world's most mysterious book. Let's start with the facts. The manuscript gets its modern name from Wilfred Voynich, a Polish book dealer who bought it in 1912 from a Jesuit college near Rome. But the manuscript itself is far older. Carbon dating of the parchment dates it between 1404 and 1438, right in the early Renaissance. The book contains about 240 vellum pages, though some are missing. Each page is covered in flowing text written in an unknown script nicknamed Voynichese. And alongside the text are hundreds of illustrations, plants, astronomical charts, zodiac wheels, bathing women, and what look like pharmaceutical jars. On first glance, it looks like a medieval herbal or alchemical text, but here's the problem. The plants don't match any known species, the text doesn't match any known language, and after centuries of study, we still have no idea what it says. Scholars divide the manuscript into six main sections. First, the herbal section. This is the largest. About 113 pages are devoted to plant drawings, some with roots and leaves, some with blossoms, but none that match known species. Some look vaguely like familiar herbs, others look like Frankenstein creations spliced together. Were these meant to be medicines, or symbolic plants from an imaginary world? Next, the astronomical section. Here we see zodiac symbols, sun and moon charts, and circular diagrams filled with stars. Some of the zodiac signs are familiar, Leo the Lion, Sagittarius the Archer, but others are strange, such as Sagittarius drawn with a crossbow, which was rare in medieval Europe. Then, the biological or balneological section. This is the strangest of all. Pages filled with naked women, often with distended bellies, standing in pools of green liquid connected by tubes, funnels, and plumbing-like contraptions. Some scholars believe this section represents fertility, conception, or medical bathing practices. Others think it's entirely symbolic. The cosmological section features massive, fold-out pages with circular, mandala-like diagrams. These are filled with stars, castles, and spirals. Some look almost like maps of the universe, or perhaps diagrams of heaven and earth. The pharmaceutical section shows drawings of plant parts, roots, leaves, and seeds, along with pictures of jars, vessels, and containers. It strongly resembles an apothecary's reference book. Finally, there's the recipes section. Here, pages are filled with dense text in Voynichese, often with little star-shaped bullet points in the margins. This section looks the most like practical instructions, if only we could read it. Now let's talk about the writing itself. Voynichese uses about 20 to 25 distinct letters with thousands of word forms. Linguists estimate there are 170,000 characters, making up 35,000 words. The writing follows consistent rules. Some letters only appear at the beginnings of words, others only at the end. Words often repeat with small variations. Statistically, it behaves just like a natural language, not random gibberish. And yet, no one can read it. No known alphabet matches. No language fits. Even modern computers and AI cryptography models haven't cracked it. Intriguingly, studies suggest the manuscript may have been written by five different scribes, each with slightly different handwriting, but all using the same script. This suggests it wasn't just a lone prankster, but a group effort. The manuscript's history is as mysterious as its contents. The earliest confirmed owner we know of was George Barish, a 17th century alchemist in Prague. But according to legend, it was once owned by the Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II, who reportedly paid a huge sum, 600 gold ducats, for it, believing it was the work of the English philosopher Roger Bacon. Later, the book passed into the hands of Jesuit scholars in Rome, before being acquired by Wilfred Voynich in 1912. Today, it sits in the rare book library at Yale University, fully digitized for public study. Cracking the Voynich has become an obsession. During World War II, some of the best cryptographers in the world, including codebreakers who cracked Nazi ciphers, tried and failed to make sense of it. The NSA has studied it. Alan Turing may have glanced at it. Linguists, mathematicians, and amateur enthusiasts have all had their turn. Some argue it's a cipher, perhaps an early attempt at encryption. Others think it's a constructed language, invented for some secret purpose. 
Still, others think it's an elaborate hoax, but the sheer effort, artistry, and consistency of the text argue against that. Over the years, dozens of theories have been put forward. Some claim it's an alchemical manual filled with coded recipes for transformation. Others suggest it's a pharmacological text preserving forgotten herbal medicine traditions. There's the theory that it's a women's health manual explaining fertility and pregnancy in veiled symbolic terms. In fact, just in 2024, researchers Keegan Brewer and Michelle Lewis argued that the manuscript encodes medieval knowledge of sex and reproduction, hidden to protect it from censorship. They connect the strange bathing women and swelling bellies to symbolic depictions of conception and contraception. Another idea is that it's written in a lost or extinct language, one with no surviving relatives to compare. Statistical analysis has even found similarities to the rhythms of Chinese, though no direct match exists. And then there's the wildest theory of all, that it's not meant to be read at all, but a kind of art piece, or even a meditation tool. What makes the Voynich manuscript so irresistible is the mix of familiarity and alienness. We recognize plants, but not quite. We see stars and zodiac signs, but drawn just a little strangely. We read text that looks like language, but which no human has ever understood. It's like staring into a parallel world's textbook, one that has survived six centuries without ever revealing its secret. And that is the true power of the Voynich Manuscript. It reminds us that not every riddle has an answer, that human history is filled with mysteries too deep to solve, too strange to categorize, and too stubborn to yield to reason. Maybe one day someone will crack the Voynich Code, or maybe it will remain forever what it is today, the most mysterious book in the world. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into the unknowable, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share your theories in the comments. Do you think the Voynich Manuscript hides real knowledge, or is it just a beautiful hoax? I'm Dr. Pox, and I'll see you in the next Medical Mystery.